what's going on guys back here again with another video um, on how to make some catfish bait uh, y'all liked the last video I posted pretty good so I thought I'd bring you another video uh, this time with uh, hot dogs this year normal beef hot dogs nothing special you buy the cheap kind rotted old don't matter it all works the same but uh, yeah I uh, got off work early you know it's a good day and um, thought I'd bring you on another video so you might recognize a few ingredients from my last video so uh, let's go ahead and get started but like I said hot dogs you pick up a pack for like a buck 99 it's they're pretty cheap I mean if you're looking for a catfish bait that don't break the bank you know those dip baits and everything are really good but sometimes they're pretty dang expensive they tend not to work so good so hot dogs can't ever go wrong with hot dogs but let's go ahead and just make quite a few and you can make as much as you want I mean you can buy a few packs of hot dogs and uh, you can really make quite a bit of bait now some people like to chop them in half I tend to not like that it's it's kind of harder to stay on the hook I usually chop them in about one inch pieces and if you put these over a treble hook they work really good over a treble hook so anyway got your weenies some small little cubes there and uh, you can use a tub I like using gallon bags or ziploc baggies and like I said you can cut up three packages of these dang weenies and it works really really good if you're looking for a cheap bait just to go out and spend the day fishing this is uh, this recipe is gonna help you out a bunch next is jello and a lot of people are like what the hell jello <laughs> trust me it works it works I usually like to pick up the red kind cherry strawberry you use whatever color you want and you grab the jello rip it open and just pour it inside the bag with the weenies just pour it all in there and that works pretty good just pour it in there next garlic powder catfish love anything that smells like garlic 90% um, of your baits you see in the store for catfish have garlic in it it's just reeks this stuff's really nasty I'm usually heavy handed with the garlic don't be shy with it usually stinks like hell and also what I like to put in there is some cayenne pepper some red crushed pepper catfish a lot of people don't know this but catfish actually like spicy things it, it attracts them I don't I couldn't tell you why but they actually like things that are spicy so you put that in there ziplock bag it up and then just mix it up it kind of looks like a like a dry mix you know kind of looks kind of grainy but you let this sit in the fridge for a few hours and uh, it's going to get real gooey all the jello is going to pull the moisture out of the hot dog it's going to pull the moisture out of the hot dog and um, create like a little gravy as you would call it in there it's pretty nasty stuff the downsides of using this is it's really messy when you're trying to get it out of the bag um, and then when it gets on your hands then in turn it gets like on your rods and reels and tackle box and stuff so that's kind of a con of the bait but as far as working wise for catfish uh, <laughs> It's really hard to beat it. It's really hard to beat it. And like I said, if you put these little one inch chunks on a treble hook, it, you could cast these suckers out a mile and you won't have to worry about it. Uh, flying off your hook. And um, when these one inch little cubes seat inside that treble hook really nice, it's really hard for smaller fish or smaller catfish to suck your bait off the hook. So you're not having to, you know, reel in empty, an empty hook so many times and rebait and rebait. But yeah, you let, I mean, you let it sit outside in the sun or in the refrigerator and man that stuff gets pretty rank and what's good about this is you can throw this in the fridge and it lasts a week two weeks three weeks I mean and you could just keep reusing the same amount of bait if you don't finish all of this come back home throw it in the fridge you either know your wife might get a little mad at you for fridge stinking like garlic powder but <laughs> mine's kind of getting used to it as I go but uh, yeah I just wanted to bring you all a short quick sweet video of jello garlic powder and some cayenne pepper and uh, that's pretty good it's real cheap good bait 
uh, if you haven't checked out my last video where I made it with chicken, uh, it's, it's a pretty good video. And if y'all haven't tried this, I highly recommend it. I mean, it's I, I love using corn and other stuff like that, but uh, man, these these hot dogs with this Jello, man, it works out pretty good catching catfish. And um, I hope to try it out soon. Uh, use this bag soon. I've used it many times. But uh, if y'all appreciate the video, I'd really, really appreciate it if you would like and subscribe. Um, I'm coming out with videos every week, I'm trying to stay on a weekly basis. You know, with y'all support, y'all crushing the likes. The views are great, and uh, y'all seem to really seem to like uh, like the videos. So I'm gonna keep pumping them out there for y'all. And you know, tips and tricks that it, it helps. If I would have seen half of the videos I have to this day back then, I, I would have been so much more off, better off um, with tips and tricks wise instead of trying to learn it the hard way. So that's when I kind of bring you all these videos to, to kind of give you all the shortcuts to my, uh, to my headaches that I've been having over the years. So, uh, yeah, if y'all, I guess, uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Thank y'all.